Bonnie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you for stopping by for a Make It in Minutes card. Guys, I thought this one came out so pretty. I shared it with you yesterday on my blog, and it's just kind of a fun window card. I used uh, the new Pinewood Planks Dynamic Textured Embossing Folder. Fabulous. Let me share with you how you can create this card in a matter of minutes. Let me go ahead and share with you the measurements for the cardstock you're going to need for today's Make It in Minutes. My card base today is in Crumb Cake, and I have that cut at 11 inches by four and a quarter inches. It is scored at five and a half inches. And then the inside of my card is in Very Vanilla. This is three and three quarters inch by five inch. And then I have a little uh, scrap piece of cherry cobbler. This is cut one and three, or I'm sorry, I believe that's one and a half by one and a half, but really any little scrap scrap is going to do. I'm going to be using the Sweet and Sassy uh, framelits for this and I wanted to point something out to you because it was something that I didn't notice right away. First of all, this die set has 15 dies to it. But what I want you to notice is this right here. When it comes to these hearts, do you notice I have a straight heart and a curvy heart? So I have two different sets. When you're working with this um, die set, you want to make sure you kind of keep them separate because they're not going to fit inside each other great unless you're using, oh, if you know what I mean, the same style, the same curve uh, of hearts. I'm going to be using the straight hearts for mine. The stamp set I'm using is called Just Add Text, and I love that I don't know what my future holds, but I'm happy you're in it. I thought that was just really nice for today's card. So I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to stamp it here on some scratch paper in Cherry Cobbler. The reason I'm doing that is I want to come in with my hearts, and I want to find the right heart where I know that's going to fit in there nicely. And it looks like that is the heart I need, because if I go any smaller... Yeah, that's a little too tight for me. So now I know which heart I need to use. I'm going to bring in my Big Shop platform and the thin die adapter. I'm gonna put a cutting plate here. Let me go ahead and bring my cardstock in. I'm just gonna open that up. And I want to lay my heart kind of here up towards the top because we're gonna have some other hearts down here at the bottom. Let me bring in my card so you can see. We're gonna go ahead and cut this heart out as well. We can just lay that in the center. Guys, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna get rid of this frame. So I am happy with that. Let me put my top cutting plate on. I'm gonna run that through my Big Shot machine. While you're over at the Big Shot, go ahead and take the heart that fits inside that one and a half inch square cardstock, and we're gonna zip that through as well. Now come in and I want to do the embossing on my cardstock. And to do that, we are using a brand new embossing folder. This is called Pinewood Planks. This is one of our, uh, one of our dynamic embossing folders and there's, they call it dynamic for a reason. It leaves a really nice deep, deep impression. Now you can uh, run this through your Big Shot with the wood grain going this way or this way. The, um, uh, Embossing folder itself is designed to go into your Big Shot either way, but I'd like my um, planks going this way. So what I want, I'm going to take that heart and let's just stick that in the middle because we're gonna need to emboss that as well. And I'm gonna get that lined up. Let me go run that through my Big Shot machine. But before I do, I want to point out that when you are using these dynamic embossing folders, there's actually not a bottom cutting plate, guys. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna use our Big Shot platform and then our cutting plate right on top. That's gonna to do everything I need it to do. Now you can see we do have some texture on here, but I wanna make it pop. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna bring in that same scratch paper that I used a second ago, and I have got a soft suede ink pad, and with a Stampin' sponge, I am just gonna really lightly rub this cardstock with the sponge. Do you see how that's just popping? So I'm gonna to continue to do this, and then when I get around this heart, I do wanna go just a little bit bolder. Can you see how I'm just kinda of giving that heart just a little extra, Extra loving right there. I'm gonna go ahead and continue sponging my card. Now, can you see the difference? What a difference a little sponging makes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that with this heart that we cut out. I'm also going to sponge the edges of the red, or the cherry cobbler heart that we cut out. I'm going to take the inside of my card. Oh, I wanted to show you this. Look, I even picked up a little bit of the heart there, but oh, look, you're not gonna see it now, totally hidden. So I'm going to lay my vanilla cardstock here 
on the inside of my card and now I'm going to come back in with that stamp. I'm going to stamp right here in the center of the heart. Quick and easy now. I've got some snail on the back of the heart that we cut out. I have got a stamp dimensional here on the back of the cherry cobbler heart. Let's add that right there. I'm going to finish off my card with a couple linen thread bows and to attach those I'm going to take a glue dot and just kind of roll it into a little ball. I'm gonna put the larger one up here in the corner. So let me just attach, well, it just doesn't wanna let go. There we go. All right, so I've got my little glue dot right there. Let me take my bow, press that down. And now I can take my other one. We're gonna repeat that same process. And this little bow is gonna go right here. I just kind of went off of the cherry cobbler. I love how this card turned out. I love that it uses such minimal supplies. You only need a few things to be able to create it. Guys, this is gonna be a great card for maybe those upcoming weddings. You know, burlap weddings are really, really big right now. This will make a wonderful card for the bride and groom. Now listen, if you need to get the measurements or you wanna check um, on the supplies that I use, not a problem. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com and just look for the June 16th, 2017 blog post. I'm going to have everything there and if there's an item that I use that you'd like to add to your stamping supplies, not a problem. Click a pick. It'll take you right to my online store and you will be able to order what you need. Well guys, thank you so much for being a part of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It always makes me happy. I love knowing what you like. So, uh, and also please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I love to see new subscribers and um, you can also subscribe to the blog, simplysimplestamping.com. I have uh, daily emails with all kinds of great ideas, cards, tutorials, all kinds of wonderful things waiting for you there. So I hope you'll check it out. Guys, thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.